she ever talks about. I hear it four or five times a day. Marriage. The wedding. Jeez, you better marry me. When are we getting married? I want you to marry me. Marry me. I want to get married. Are we getting married? Are we getting married? I want to get married. She says, marry me today or else. We say, go to the door and find out. Today's guests have come here ready for a wedding because they're demanding that the men in their lives marry them today or get lost. Will they hear I do or see ya? And now the host of our show, Mother Love. Hello everyone, welcome to Forgive or Forget. The women on today's show have had it with the lame excuses the men in their lives have for not marrying them. But they're here to put an end to the procrastination. Today, the brides have made all the preparations and if there's no wedding, there will be separations. Our first bride-to-be says her fiance convinced her to leave her husband for him. But now he's refusing to take the plunge and make her his wife. Please welcome Tracy Collier. Tracy, come join us, please. Our second bride wants to know why she's good enough to bear two children with her fiancé, but not good enough to be his wife. Please welcome Rosa Pagan. Rosa, come out, please. next bride's fiance swore they'd be married by the year 2000 but the millennium's approaching fast and the date's still not set julie cravey come join us please <laughs> our last potential bride's fiance has actually set a date not just one date several dates the only problem is he can't keep them please welcome selena corny selena please come out with us Ladies, I just want to let you all know that the Reverend Jerry Heller is standing by to hopefully do the honors for all of you today. Let's start with Tracy. Tracy, yes. why has your boyfriend not set a date after you left your other husband? I tell you, that's a good question. I'd like to know the answer to that. Um, you know, my Timmy, he thinks, we, we have a company, Crown Plumbing, and he thinks he's the king of plumbing and so he says we need a horse honey we need a castle we anything to delay it he just wants grandeur and uh i, I tell you i wasn't too upset until i saw that little preview uh, of him on tv and now i'm telling you he's gonna marry me today he's gonna come out he's gonna make me his queen mm -hmm. i'm gonna take his kingdom and i'm gonna send him to my mom he's gonna live there <laughs> Miss Rosa, you want to be married to your fiance. You've got two babies with him. Why? What's up with him? I don't know what's up with him, but I can tell you this. We've been together four years. We've got two kids, one of one years old and one of two months. I'm his first girlfriend. Without me, they wouldn't be a Jason. So the whole yeah. time I put my foot down and he married me today, or it's over. And so, Miss Julie... You are just sitting there, just so elegant and so beautiful, and you cannot get this man to marry you? Mother love, when I met Keith, he'd been legally separated for two years. Well, we fell in love, got together. I gave him eight years of our relationship to get his divorce. Eight years? Eight years with three children. Wait, but you said that he was already separated when for you two. married him. For two. Well, I'm just scared of him. So we're working on year number 10. He said we'd get married by the end of the year. Of course, it's October. So he said the first of the year. I don't believe it. I'm ready to get married today. If he don't come through the door, I'll go behind the curtain and bring him out. Well. He really 
really doesn't know what he's in for. Now, Selena, <laughs> explain to me, because I noticed as you walked out, you didn't really walk out, darling. You kind of just waddled out, and that's a pregnant <laughs> waddle. So this is, is this your first baby with this man? No. Second baby? No. <laughs> Third baby? No. <laughs> Well, how many kids do you have with him? We have three and one on the way. And how pregnant are you? I'm eight months. And why have he, has he not married you? What's his excuse? His little sorry excuse. <laughs> well, we had set a date for October 2nd of this, excuse me, this year. Mm -hmm. And October 2nd came and I asked him, are we going downtown to get married? <laughs> Well, we don't have the money right now because we had just moved and he's like, well, when we get the money, um, we'll do it. Celine, you what, need to stop asking. Wait a minute, excuse you me. You, you had set a wedding date and this was one of many wedding dates. And oh, yeah. so the last wedding date, he says to you, you said, are we ready to go downtown? Right. So you were willing to go downtown to a justice of the peace. Right. To get the money, now, I might have been out of the marriage loop for a while, but what is it, 50, 60 bucks to go downtown? Yeah, $40. For, oh, $40? <laughs> so he's yeah. full of excuses. He, don't ha he doesn't have $40. Your yeah. man, you're waiting on him to, to, you know, he's just tripping with no luggage. Your man. <laughs> I can relate to what she said, because I suggested the same thing, and he was like, oh, I want a big old wedding. You haven't given me one yet. I gave you a second kid with my wedding. That's right. <laughs> So now, Selena, you are seven months pregnant. Eight. You, eight months. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. Eight months pregnant. Just so you know, I've delivered three children, so if your water breaks, we're in. <laughs> we're in. <laughs> so you have an ultimatum for your, for your fiancé, boyfriend, knucklehead. <laughs> yes. What's your ultimatum to him? If he doesn't marry me today, then it's over. You're just going to leave? I'm going to leave. You're yes. that tough. You're going to leave? Yes, I have before, but I came back. You can do it, baby. Yep. You're, so you're ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. And you're ready? Oh, you're ready, Rosa? And you're ready, Tracy? All right, ladies. Our brides are laying it on the line. But now you have to realize there's another side to their stories. And when we come back, we're going to have a word with their would-be husbands and find out what is the holdup. We'll be right back. Up next, the pressure's on to tie the knot. Are these would-be grooms getting geared up to walk down the aisle or run out the door? And later... Now, Julie said you all had been together 10 years. Yes. That you have three children. Okay, so now if you've been together 10 years and you got three children and you asked her to marry you six years ago, first of all, what took you so long? No, first of all... Today we've got four wannabe wives just itching to walk down the aisle. They're telling their prospective husbands to kiss and say I do or kiss their relationships. Bye-bye. Now we've heard from the brides. Let's meet our first potential groom. She's been pressuring me to marry her since the day she moved in. I've been stalling. I figure, why buy the cow when the milk is free? about his girlfriend Tracy Tim. Come on out before I choke. Come on, Tim. Uh -huh. Oh, see, they got you flanked on both sides. Tim. Hello, Mr. K Maybe I should say Your Majesty. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Oh Great King of Plumbing. Why are you not marrying her? Well, my love, um, after she moved in, um, uh, got things settled down. Things were a little turbulent, but uh, uh, now everything's the uh, way I like it. Everything's working smooth, and I figure, uh, why uh, buy the cow when the milk is free? You actually had the nerve to say that twice. It's, it's my mother saying I'm the one who told him. 
I said, we can't live in sin. I mean, we've got to do this right. And I did the whole cow thing. But, I, I, you know, I'm feeling kind of sick. I think I might have some mad cow disease, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you're rubbing on his tummy. Do you all have kids? Uh, we have six. You have I, I have... I have three and she has three. That would make six. We can do the math. That would make six, Tim. And yeah. I love these kids. And, are, and how do they get along well? They love each other. So you've got six children. She's moved in. How come no engagement ring? Do you consider yourself engaged? Oh, you're technically. Yes, to, to her, yes. And, uh, uh, t <laughs> and who I, I became a little scared, I guess. <laughs> and uh, got a little bit of cold feet after uh, after she moved in. Like I said, everything was working well. and uh, uh, I was working well. I hated uh, or thought about the commitment part, I should say. A commitment part. It's okay for her to live in your home, wash your clothes, take care of your children, pretend to be your wife, fake it her way through being your wife, but you mean to tell me you don't think this woman deserves to be your wife? Tracy, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I, t I tell you, you know, I... I love this man. This is this is my duplicate. We are the Tell same. Tell him. Now you know that we're like two we're we're like two sides of a penny. I mean, we may look different, but deep down inside we're the same. And our children love each other. They love each other. I love those kids. I can't stand. If I leave, I'm taking them with me. <laughs> That sounded like she meant all of the children. That's right. You tell him why you brought his him here. <laughs> I fixed it. Thank you, Mother Love. Well, listen, my boisterous beloved. You are going to marry me today. You're going to come out that door. You're going to put a ring on my hand. You're going to lift me up, throw me around. You're going to kiss me. You're going to pledge your faithfulness to me. And you're going to stay with me forever. Or else... I'm taking the house, I'm taking the car, I'm taking the kids, I'm taking the shop. I don't know what you're looking at me for, Tim. You've been stalling for over a year. I'm going to send you off to think about whether you're going to set up and marry your girlfriend today or risk losing her and a whole lot of your kingdom for good. <laughs> we'll find out your decision later in the show. You can leave and go think now. Hey, thank God, sweetie. All right, now we're getting to our next potential husband. Let's hear how our next potential groom feels about the subject of marrying his girlfriend. Why haven't I married my girlfriend? Because I gave her a ring and she pawned it. Why should I marry her? That was Jason Coons on the subject of an eternal union with his girlfriend, Rosa. Let's talk to him. Jason, come on out with us, please. So, Jason, you said she pawned the ring? Mother love, there's a reason for that one. <laughs> we bought it, I asked them. I, was, I had my son, so I was pregnant again. Okay, I got pregnant right away. I was on the pill. Well, that's besides the point. He bought the ring just to shut me up, just so I wouldn't mm. ask him anymore. Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I did. Because every day, without fail, I hear, when we getting married, when we getting married, when we getting married, I'm tired of hearing it. You can make kids with me, you can marry me, you I'm want to be with me. I'm tired of hearing it, so I bought her a ring, she went to the store, she pawned it, hey, that was her shot. Bought the kids some diapers. You know, that was her shot. More than a ring. Wait a minute, you had to pawn the ring to buy the baby some diapers? Yes, I did. Uh-oh, well, no, now, what happened? Nothing. Uh-oh, nothing. Because whenever she came and she said, give me a ring, I said, which is it, ring or diapers? Oh, she said, yeah. I want a ring. Everything is about her. Everything is about her. So, okay, right. so, okay, it wait a minute, ring Jason. Or diapers. Okay, and it just came and she said ring, so there it was. Okay, so it was ring or diapers. She picked a ring, so why did you not marry her? Because I'm tired of hearing about it, and until I stop hearing about it, it ain't gonna happen. Oh my god. You know what, I don't know why you couldn't just get a cubic zirconian, 
You know, go down, take a shot, and then marry her. She's dead. Because if I, wanted, wife. Hold on. if I wanted to get a little piece of garbage from the street corner, I would have. You told our producers, because that's why I keep asking you, yes, why I haven't did. you married her? Yes, why I haven't did. you married her? You told our producers he, that you won't marry because she has such a bad attitude. Yes, she does. Attitude? Tell about me about the bad attitude. The attitude. You're the one that took up enough for me when I was... Four months pregnant and with a newborn baby at home. Oh, right? oh, and I brought the kids back to you so we can have a family. Yes, I and did. And you owe me but this every one. every day that I go to work, she complains that I go to work instead of staying home with her. I can't stay home with her and go to work at the same time. Gotta go I to work. I was nine months I pregnant gotta go to work. and I had and then, pregnancy. And she calls my job almost every time. When are you coming home? When are you coming home? I got yelled at the other day because she called my job. Mm. She calls my job, she calls Why? my job. What did you do at Sears? Who are you but, flirting with at Sears? But see if, if, but see if, oh. Okay, well tell him what you want though, Rosa. You tell right. him what you want. Well, you say we don't have the money. It's free. All right, <laughs> number one. Well, there's no reason you got money. Okay, we got, we got two kids together. You know I love the kids. I moved out here for you. I left my family. Your family does not help me. I struggle left and right. All right? I love you and I want to be with you and you say you want you want you want to be with me also. You can at least give me this much and be my husband. Kids have your last name. Now she wants to have it too. I'm going to send you off to think it over whether you are ready to make her Mrs. Jason Coons. We'll find out what your decision is later in the show. Go ahead, sir. We don't want to force you into it. Just think about it. We've got to take a short break. When we come back, we'll meet the rest of our prospective grooms and hear their sorry excuses. We'll be right back. Are these two would-be grooms busy brushing up on their excuses or their wedding vows? Stay tuned to find out if their cold feet stand a chance of warming up. Welcome back. Today we've got four feisty brides with one major demand for the men in their lives. Marry me today or hit the road. Before we get on to our next two potential grooms out here, let's check in with Tim and Jason in the green room, see how they're doing. Oh, come on, you guys. Come, could you get your faces up off the carpet and tell me how come you haven't changed into the old tuxes yet? Not ready. I'm still thinking about it, mother love. Uh -huh. think, think, think a little more. I, I'll give you a little time. Just go ahead, Tim. Jason, just take a moment. Go ahead. Now, why is Julie's fiancé dragging his feet about their marriage? Let's hear what he has to say. I just got divorced. What's the rush? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to get married again so soon. Oh, was eight years ago? Now, that was Keith Gill. You're talking about his fiancé, Julie. Keith, come out here. Yeah, man. <laughs> I like the little wedding dress she threw over your lap. So, Keith, what's going on between you and Julie? Why won't you marry her? Well, mother love, it's been a combination of things. So, like I guess I guess part of it's been me procrastinating, but a big part of it is that I'm just recently getting divorced. And, um, you know, I just want to think about it for Wait, a while. Wait, just a minute. <laughs> what? Ooh, I didn't think about having three kids. Oh, yeah, that's one to work with, isn't it? I saw your eyes get all big like saucers. Ooh, huh, can't really work with that one. But now, you say you just got recently divorced. Yes. So, did you ever ask Julie to marry you? Yes. When, how long ago? Uh huh. About, what, six years ago? Uh -huh. Oh, six. Okay, wait a minute. Now, I'm just trying to get the timeline together. Now, Julie said you all had been together 10 years. Yes. That you have three children. 
-hmm. Okay, so now if you've been together 10 years and you got three children and you asked her to marry you six years ago, first of all, what took you so long? No, first of all, wait, I have another first of all. I have another first of all. First of all, why would you ask a woman to marry you when you already had a wife? Uh -huh. That's the first thing I want to see. Second of all, if you knew that you were eventually going to divorce this first wife and you were with this woman and you have three children and you asked her to be your wife, why did you just stick your feet in a bucket of ice cubes and just say, oh, I just, oh, I can't, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I want to hear that one myself. <laughs> well, okay. When I asked Julie to marry me, you know, we've been living in Florida, and uh, my ex-wife is in Richmond, Virginia, separated from her and lost contact with her. So, you know, I hadn't seen her in the whole time we were together. I, I knew then or at least figured then that we were going to get married. But, you know, as time goes on, you know, different things, things change. Different things come up. It's always been... What changed? You know, it's always been something, one thing or another. Um, okay, well, let me ask... Putting a wedding off. Okay, or, yes, procrastinating and just <laughs> really just giving a bunch of lip service. Has this changed? Has your love for her changed? No, that hasn't. Oh. No, that hasn't. Okay, what well, you just, that's your man. You talk to him and tell him why you brought him here today. Okay. I don't have to tell you how much I love you. You know. Mm -hmm. I have your three children with your last name. We've been together 10 years. I want to get married today. If you don't come through the door, I'm coming through the door and get you. I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm not leaving this show till I'm married. <laughs> You just sit there and contemplate what she just told you. She wasn't leaving. All righty then, since he's not leaving, she's laid it on the line. Now we have to talk to Selena's man and find out why he won't make her his wife today. My fiance has given me these ultimatums before, but I don't think she'll ever really leave me. Oh. That was Damon Lee talking about his fiance Selena. Let's bring him out. Damon, do join us, please. Uh huh. Come on, baby. So, what's the hold up, Damon? Well, Mother Love, me and Selena, we've been together for four years. I mean, it seemed like we've been married already. No. <laughs> Go ahead, it seems like you're married. Yeah, it seems like we're married already. I mean, she's given me these ultimatums before. I don't think she'll really leave me. Well, you shouldn't take advantage of her like that, though. I mean, if she's giving you ultimatums, it's because it's she loves you and you're hurting her and you need to do that. <laughs> on, on top of that, what about the fact that you have set four wedding dates with this young woman. What about the fact that not only has she had one, two, three children, that she's full with your fourth child? Yeah. Since, since it seems like you're married, seems like you would get unstuck off a goofy and make her your wife. No, no doubt about it, Mother Love. I mean, I love Selena. I love her to death. But uh, it just seems- If he loved me, he would remember we've been together five and a half years. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of remembering, what happened for, to the last wedding date why you didn't get married on October 2nd? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. What's the reason? Well, Wasn't that the day of the meteor? Did, wait, just a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. What was the reason why you missed that one, dear? Well, we've just been procrastinating, and then the dates came up, and then we just let it pass. I mean, wait a minute. Uh, wait, hold on. Excuse me. What, what, wait a minute. Was it we, Selena? We no, let it, it pass? Was, it was him. He had an excuse. So Every time the day comes, he has an excuse. You know that is pathetic. I mean, one wedding day, but four, and one you just kind of forgot about? Well, Selena, you didn't forget about why you brought him here. Let him know what the deal is. And remember, he said you weren't strong enough to leave him. Huh? Shut up, mother love. <laughs> Duman, I love you. We've been together five and a half years. We have three kids. We went on the way. 
I just wanted to tell you, if you don't marry me today, then it's over. And for those of you who might not have heard that, and she said, and I am strong enough to walk away from you. So, Damon, do you still think that Selena's not serious about her demands? Oh, you take it too long. And Keith, <laughs> what I'm going to do for you and Damon, I'm going to send you both off to think things over for a little while because you both have very big decisions to make. We'll find it if you'll leave here married men or if you'll leave here alone. <laughs> Oh, Julie, you've got three children. You waited 10 years. Are you ready for us to open that door? Yes. Okay, let's open that door. You're wondering why our set is decked out with flowers and our guests are wearing beautiful wedding gowns. It's all because all four of the women on our stage came here with a plan. They've told their boyfriends, make me your missus or your history. Yeah. Now, before we find out which of these women will walk away wives, let's check in with Keith and Damon in the green room. Yeah. Keith and Damon. <laughs> <laughs> So are you two ready? Okay, I see you guys are in there getting ready. Are you ready to make your decisions? Uh, I don't know. Some things can't be rushed. Oh. Oh. I'm still thinking about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, it's the moment of truth for Tracy. Tracy, go take your place in front of that door. Let's see if you're going to become Mrs. Mary Tim. No, you got to walk over. Uh, okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, that's how it works. <laughs> All right, Tracy. Okay. You ready? Woo! I'm dizzy, okay. All right, let's open that door. Oh, no, he did not. Are you serious? Wait a minute, no, come back. He's not here? No, 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 okay, fine. All right, all right, all right, um, that's fine. He just said. No, actually, no, that's not fine. No, it's not fine, because take a seat. Timothy's not there? Are you serious? Well, and you went, wait, you went back there. We've never had anybody go back there. <laughs> ha, ha, have, have a seat. Did you guys see him? No, they, Timmy? no, no. Sit down, baby. Let's find out why he did not come through that door. Timothy, uh -uh. before she yeah. starts throwing things, please explain to Tracy why you are not at that door. Well, she was already talking about taking everything I own, own. and uh, quite frankly, I became quite scared. <laughs> Look, you, that you were scared. Well, she started talking about uh, taking the, the shop and taking the, all the uh, stuff I've accumulated over the years and worked so hard for. And but yeah, but, like the kids, Tim. You know, shop, money. That that doesn't mean anything. You know what I gave you when I met you? I gave you a promise of fidelity, something I've never, ever given anybody in my life. Ever. All right, Tracy, you. Tracy, Tracy, he said, just a moment, okay. because he said he just got a little scared. Well, you sit your little scared self back there, and I'm going to check in with you later. Oh, no, you're not moving, mister. All right, Rosa, you're next. Are you ready? Yeah, you better be there. All right, Rosa, let's open that door. wedding gowns. I must say, now if I am not shocked, I am shocked to see you. You, you talk, 
all that gang. And wait a minute, just wait a minute. Uh uh, cause I have to tell you this before I even tell you how handsome you look. Oh, I'm getting ready to bust you wide open. Because let me tell you this one. one. Wait a minute, we didn't tell you this. This one, they had to chase down the street. He had taken his bus ticket, was running down 42nd Street. They had to the Port Authority. Oh, 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 that is the, am I lying or stop me when I'm lying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Running down the street. I ain't denying it, I was. Because I got nervous and I wanted to go home. That's you, right. You want, but because you really got, you really got cold feet. Talking about standing in a, not in your a, shoes. Not, <laughs> you look so handsome. I know I do. Don't sweat me. Oh, uh, don't sweat. I swear. <laughs> we have got to take a break so we can hose him off because he's just so hot. But when we come back, our last two hopeful brides, Selena and Julie, will find out if their boyfriends are ready to take that leap to matrimony. We'll be right. Oh, Julie, you've got three children. You waited 10 years. Are you ready for us to open that door? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's open that door. <laughs> Welcome back. Selena and Julie have been waiting patiently to find out if today is going to be the happiest day of their lives. Will their boyfriends walk through that door and make them their brides? Or will their relationships end for good? Wait. Well, oh. Wait. Ah! Tracy, I love you. Of course I want to marry you. I want to marry you. I love you. I would never, ever. I'm sorry, I was playing a joke. Get that butt down here! Where's the ring, babe? Oh. Uh, you know, that's all, that's lovely. Sit down, because I have a question I'd like to ask you. Thank you. No. <laughs> you gotta move some I of those. that. Yes, you did. You deserve You're a so shoot. mean to me. Why did you did do you that? He looks so nice. You look so nice. You do that. Don't sweat us, though. <laughs> you better be quiet, Mr. Running Down 42nd Street. I, I just give somebody a break, you know? No, you get no break. I was nervous. Tim, why did you do that? Well, I had a, I put her through some tests, and, and uh, I know she does love me. And I hated to do that, but I wanted to see if she really did love me. I know she does. You just cannot miss any of this show. You never know what's going to happen. Julie, it's your turn. To, come on, sweetie, get up. Go over there. Oh, God. Oh, Julie. You've got three children. You waited 10 years. Are you ready for us to open that door? Yeah. Okay, let's open that door. Okay. What made you finally decide to do the right thing? Well, I always knew Julie and I were going to be together forever. Like you said, we've got... <laughs> we've got three beautiful kids, and I love her more than anything. Oh, yeah. All right. Miss, I got three babies and one on the way, and I've been with this man five and a half years, and he can't remember the <laughs> wedding dates. Let's see if he's going to remember to be at that door. Come on, you ready? Come on, Selena. <sighs> okay. Selena, four babies later. Let's see if you're about to become a wife. 
Let's open that door. Please. take to bring people together. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have us some weddings. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. It's time to do the honors for our long-suffering brides because it's finally the moment they've all been waiting for. It's time for a wedding for several weddings. Reverend Jerry Hiller, take it away, sir. Let your presence be welcome. Let your hearts be glad. For everything there is a season and a time and a purpose for every matter under heaven. And this is the time and this is the place to celebrate the weddings of Tracy and Tim, Rosa and Jason, Julie and Keith, Selena and Demont. We will do all those things, old and new, appropriate to such an occasion. To laugh, to cry, to sing, to feast, to dance. And now, as we stand here, remember all those things that you have promised and hoped and dreamed. Did you mean it all? Every word? All of you catch hands. Remember this moment in time and try to provide a sanctuary for each other from the chill winds of the world. Remember that you are individuals entitled to his or her own choices and mistakes. Each owns himself and has the right to equality. For after these vows you are about to take, you shall say to the world, this is my husband. This is my wife. Please listen carefully. Before Mother Love, this audience, and in their presence, do you promise to work with each other, to be patient and encourage each other, to be kind and understanding and to love and to be true to each other for all the days and years to come if this is so then say we do we, 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 do. we do oh that has to be better than that we, we do. do we do we, we do, we do. <laughs> The rings are now given and received, and remember that for thousands of years, men and women have exchanged rings as a sign or a symbol of the covenant that they make with one another. Place the rings on their fingers, please. As you wear these rings, may they ever remind you of how much you love each other 
not only on this special day, but each and every day of your lives. I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Please all kiss the bride. <laughs> for staying with us. I'd like to thank all of our guests and all of you for being here with us today. And special thanks to Zeller Tuxedos and Best Bridal for providing our beautiful wedding dresses and these tuxedos and the Oasis Cafe for making the wedding cake. The women on today's show knew exactly what they wanted. They wanted the men in their lives to become their husbands. They all succeeded. But even if they hadn't, what counts is that they took matters into their own hands. If you need to light a flame under your love, one, give us a call at Forgive or Forget. I, Mother Love, never underestimate the power of forgiveness.